least. It's not going to get any worse than it was. Cool. Here we go. So what I'm thinking right now is I'm going to go back to the cabin and light a fire in the fireplace and make some water. Since we were inside the other cabin, when the blizzard hit, there's not going to be any critters out here at all. Uh, if a blizzard comes up when you're outside, any wolves or other predators that were spawned before the storm started will be uh, will still be in the game. Bears sometimes uh, disappear when the blizzard starts, but wolves typically don't. But if they weren't already spawned in the game, they won't spawn during the blizzard. Can't feel my feet. It's not going to help me with temperature. Damn. I'm freezing. If I can get out of the wind, I'll at least have a little less clothing damage. Not easy to keep a game straight in your head while you're uh, talking. If I was watching a YouTuber do that right now, I'd be screaming at him. Wait, go inside and warm up before you do it. <clears throat> Funny how things change. Alright. As much as I hate to another, light another flare fire, here we go.
what happens when you put a lit flare in a copper? <laughs> they thought of that. Okay. Outside as well. Let's, uh, I'm gonna carry it, but I am gonna eat it before we leave, just to just for the hell of it. fan of not being smelly. And so uh, yeah, gonna leave. Oh, torches might as well. chain these all the way to the camp office. Get some use out of them. Hopefully there's a magnifying lens there. Here we go. Fog means warm. Deer are out. Torch. To here there's no wolves. There is one that patrols just over that hill by um, Max's last stand. I'll pop over and see if he is over here or not. If he's not, we're gonna go see if Max has anything. Sometimes Max has stuff. For a corpse he's reasonably reasonably uh prolific as far as having things goes. Still probably won't have anything, but at least get the feathers. Oh, yeah. Max had a book. really like going down through the uh, that broken building because there's one or two wolves that overlap there
This way there might be one up to the tracks and then another one by the camp office. I plan to avoid that one entirely though. That's Otto, he barks sometimes. fun to have a dog bark right behind you while you're uh, concentrating super hard crossing forlorn muskeg in a fog. He's made me jump out of my skin a couple times. walk along here I try to stay up on the tracks or there or close to it because it's kind of the top of the crest of this uh, uh, curve here and you can see farther in both directions So there's a, a lot of times there's a wolf spawn right up there by the corner just before the camp office. So I like to head over top of this thing. I found this while I was looking for uh, prepper caches in Voyager. I use it a lot. I'm trying to get used to using the uh, quick menu. I still forget once in a while. So this is another habit I picked up in Voyager. One one playthrough in Voyager I found a backpack back here that had something in it. And I still feel compelled to go look even though there's almost nothing here. Or, I don't think I've ever found anything back here in Interloper but some rocks. But I still go look anyway. So got enough temperature left. So that's an interesting spot. You can climb that hill right there and get up into an area that has a couple of deer and some rabbits and a cave. Um, and it, if you follow it around, it leads out to a rope above uh, the cabins at the other end of the lake. It's a reasonably good place to hunt and kill cabin fever. There's another cave on the lake that's probably better for that, but uh, it's a possibility too. It's also a place you can pick up a rope. So, 
since the latest patch, I was still doing it. Since the latest patch, um, I don't think you can remove the dam or the rope that's in the dam anymore to go down the ravine. And that used to be my go-to rope for it. So I kind of want to make sure I have a rope before I get to the ravine. So I'll probably take the one that's up uh, across from the camp office at the top of the uh, Lake Overlook when I leave the camp office. The plan is to um, pop over to the ravine, grab the um, flare pistol, and then head down through Pleasant Valley uh, to hit all the major loot spots there, and then move into uh, Coastal Highway, and then go down to DP to craft. Lens, please. Maybe a bedroll too, that'd be nice. Yeah, kinda had an idea it wasn't gonna be there. What do we got? Do I light a fire here or no? Nah. Burn this motherfucker down, Pookie. No tea. Hope Ooh, nobody needs nice. this anymore. Score. That is the best hat in the game. So we get a windproof bonus with it over there. So put the hat over here. Sweet. And I got all those. Alright. Moving on. I always forget this. This will come in handy. I never carry this crap. It's half a liter uh, for 0.7 kilos. And you get... I don't know how many uses out of it. I don't know because I've never carried it. It's just too damn heavy for what you get. The uh, lichen bandages are way better. That's nice. We can make fires now. I could use this. Probably should have done more water not having matches. Oh, well, there'll be matches in the dam, I guess. should carry at least two antiseptics and two bandages because one wolf attack can give you two injuries that need treatment. I'm not getting 
very warm very fast. And it's getting dark. Soon. More cloth. So, what did I miss? All the YouTubers missed stuff. What I came for was the magnifying lens. We got that. So, I'm not too worried about missing anything else. <laughs> To rest. Oh, it's retired. Alright. Gonna at least go up here. Might move on. Don't know. If we do move on, the next stop will be the Overlook. if I want to carry this rope. The reason I'm considering getting the rope here is that the rope doesn't always spawn in the um, rail car in the ravine. I believe that if it doesn't spawn in the, in the ravine rail car, it'll spawn across the tree bridge in the uh, cave on the other side, but I don't know that for sure. Frozen already. Uh, hmm. I think I might find a fire striker up here. I don't know if it's a random spawn or if it's a loot table spawn. hard thing is remembering to use the gun book first when lighting the next fire. Nothing back here. Is it warm back here? It is warm back here. Interesting. If I had more food, I would consider reading a book back there before the sun goes down. But I'm not gonna... Could head for the dam if I knew how to Skyrim this hill. I'm not going to climb down a rope to do it, but I would consider. Um, let's see. Making sure I didn't drop the saplings yet. Leave him behind again. I think we're going to try and sleep in the watchtower.
We're not gonna mess with the rail cars today. I've already got a pry bar. And I don't want to deal with wolves. It looks like the wolves are down the lake, though. <clears throat> into one over here unless I was carrying a scent. That's why I go this way. Wish I had a bow. Done reasonably well for uh, condition loss today, considering um, woke up with no water and ran through a blizzard. watching somebody's playthrough uh, and uh, they they did the mapping up here on interloper and uh, the map showed a metal box on the you know right below the tower here someplace but the person who was doing the playthrough never found it and I've looked a couple times since then and haven't seen it but there might be a metal box somewhere on this hill I don't think I've ever seen anybody else find one up here, but the map did show one. It could have been a mapping bug. Alright, let's see what we get. That'll come in handy. Bandage, excellent. Uh, another skill book. Hammer! Okay, so I could go straight to the forge here, but it took half the Just coal on the map already. I'm carrying... I think I'm only used one piece. There's a sewing kit on the bed. That's not a spawn that you see very often. Alright. So... Hmm. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Can't really warm up before dark, so I can smash a piece of furniture before dark, though. Anything else I need to do? Drink some water, probably. Oh, soda. That's cool. Huh. Those beans are risky. And so that breaks without a tool. That needs a tool. This takes two hours. I should, I think, have two hours left. 
might get this bench. Cool. Alright. Definitely gonna drink this for 250 calories. This is a little sketchy. But it's 250 also. This is 600, but it's super sketchy. I don't have enough condition to play with sketchy stuff, and I also don't... Oh, I do have some tea, though. Eh. We'll just go with... Let me verify here. 240, okay. So... 400, roughly. 550. 700. the water and sleep always 10 hours 11 you get dehydrated so you lose a few points right before you wake up 10 you wind up perfectly dehydrated having just been dehydrated I probably can get another couple hours here yeah. Hmm. How much? 64 hours. Sleep another hour. I'd eat anything right about now. I'm not going to gain back much condition for that, but it passes time and there is a little bit of condition gain. And it's foggy as hell. Alright, so. Fix clothes. Never thought I'd be dying from starvation. So unless I uh, get run over by a bear, this is this hat will be with me for the rest of the game. That's wow. That's in good shape. Cool. I could use another touch. Rule of thumb for repairs on clothing, and I think it's wasteful of sewing kits, but I still do it. Is when they get below 80%, I start looking at, oh boy, sweatshirt from hell. to carry. I'm going to drop a bunch. And that gets us back under. And what was the other thing I was going to do? That's it. Alright, so next stop. Trailers. trailers that usually go the other direction. And this might be a bad choice. Oh no. Yeah, sometimes there's a wolf between the cells too. So we don't go that direction very far. Yeah, 
And even though I just dropped a bunch of sticks, I'm just going to pick up more. Because that's what you do. Sticks respawn. If you get too heavy, you can drop a bunch and you'll find them later and be happy that you dropped them. We need a fire. Oh, holy crap. That's not something you see in interloper very often. There's a few trailers in the game that have pry bars outside them. So I habitually look at trailers now, even though I've never found one over here that I can recall. Alright. <clears throat> Start with this one because the other ones on the opposite side is usually the good one. Stuff will come in handy, thank goodness. Hmm. All right, windbreaker and another toque. Some people get rid of baseball hats with malice. I've got an interloper game that has no hats in it that I know of. Um, I save hats. Probably drop it off at the dam because I tend to go back to the dam quite a bit late game. I've never recorded this stuff before, so I'm going to pop out real quick and see how my recording is doing. Alright, apparently I got two gigs of video. Sweet. Now, uh, let's see, temperature-wise, not so good. Pass a little time. Can't help but think there's another bush of these berries here. I'm just missing it. Maybe crazy. They typically show up in threes because that's how many you need. Oh well. It's starting to be a sunny day. Might book get to the uh, dam so we can start a fire in the yard.
Where are my wolves at? Wow. Oh. Uh, I'm not going to walk all the way back to those. I will check out this. Inside there. So, uh, my route to the dam is not going to be down the railroad tracks because uh, I've been killed a couple of times on that stupid bridge because you can't really tell where a wolf is when it's. and they patrol under the bridge, so when you're walking across the top of the bridge, he'll jump up and gank you out of nowhere from under the bridge. So I like to go this way. There's a wolf that patrols over here too, but you can see him at least. I think it's the same wolf actually, the one that goes under the bridge over there. Hopefully we don't have to dodge a moose. I don't see any marks in the trees. On. I need to drop something. Yeah, shut up. You need to quit whining. The great thing about starving an interloper, not only is it beneficial because you save calories, uh, Will McKenzie never complains about being hungry when he's never hasn't had any food in his belly all day. He only complains right as he's starting to get hungry again after having eaten something. So if you don't like him complaining, don't feed him. He has nothing to complain about. It's kind of a weird uh, weird dynamic, but it, that sound is event-driven, not time-driven. About the ravine, there's no coffee yet. Two maple over there. No coffee yet, so uh, and the bed at the the new bed in the cave down there only has only adds two degrees of warmth, so you really can't sleep without a fire. But you can sleep down there. Um, I typically like to try and get out in one day, but. I don't think it's going to be possible. There might be a bed right behind us in the uh, hunter's blind back here. I might want to do that. See, um, the bedroll. There's a likely bedroll either in the hunter's blind or a in a right cabin now. on the lake. Thank you, Will. But either in the Hunter's Blind or Cabin on the Lake. And the bedroll would give us a good, better chance down in the ravine for spending the night easily. Um, but... I don't like going into that Hunter's Blind without a flare gun. At least. So we got kind of a dilemma there. What have we here? 
pretty sure there was no wolf out there, so rather than warm up in here, let's see, can't really warm up in the dam necessarily. Don't really feel like looting the dam yet. We do need matches. Let's go look in the dam for a minute. So, since I didn't do anything that passes time inside this trailer, if there was a wolf out here, he would still be out here. And since there wasn't a wolf out here, he still won't be out here. But if I laid down and passed some time or broke some wood or something like that in there, then the wolf situation would reset. And I wouldn't know whether there was a wolf out here or not. That's why I didn't warm up in there. I've been told that if you don't close that door, wolves won't still won't come in here. Actually, you know what? I didn't think they'd go in caves either. things I want to do here is pile up deer carcasses. So there's one here, there's two in the back perhaps uh, of the dam, and then there's one or two at least over in the ravine area. These are the ones I tend to gather up early game to, to build uh, my pants and boots out of. Um, and I like to get the hides before I go to the forge so that they're done when I get back. Let's see, so we want to drop stuff. And I want to drop this for sure. This for sure. sure that's the one I'm reading. Uh, that's for scrap metal later. I don't have anything needs repairing yet. Don't need feathers. I come back to the dam a lot so I tend to store stuff here. That I want to fix before it gets ruined, but I'm going to leave it here now anyway. And we don't need this many of these. And so which of these books am I reading? Okay, so field dressing goes in the... So, last time I was in here, I found matches hidden here, and I don't know if it's a random spawn or not, apparently it's not 100% because they're not here now, but it was tucked away behind this uh, one of these uprights. Alright, so... Definitely want to check at least the toolbox though. I miss Fluffy, but I kind of really don't miss Fluffy. No 
coffee, no matches. Flare's not there. I don't really know where the flare is now. I don't think it spawns where it used to over on the control panel in there. And it might be there's not always a flare here, but definitely not on there now. Maybe it's over here. either. Ah, there it is. Bandage too. Last time I was in here I could not find a way to get this rope loose anymore. It used to be you could just go to the ground right here, the snow. And it would say deploy mountain rope, but it does not do that anymore. Hmm. Yep. So can't really do the ravine yet. Don't have a bedroll. Don't have matches. make water or do we go after a bedroll? I think we go after a bedroll. That's the one direction this will actually put out a fire here. So I guess we're not making water. Oh, we have pretty much no choice on the water.
So I wonder if this fire has melted that deer. <clears throat> It has. Excellent. situation like three good ones two more no one is not very cool oh good getting good ones out of this one all right to the trailer. Now, I don't know since I have meat on me if oh <laughs> that was almost a fatal mistake. Inside here makes me smell to wolves that are outside here. So we're gonna go over here and eat our deer steaks while we listen for a wolf. Mostly overeating here, but I'm not going to carry this crap over to that trailer. I could have left some, but I'm not going to. Let's see. I don't hear the pitter patter of little footsteps. myself in real life so thank you for uh, watching if you're watching this I don't know if I'm gonna upload it or not we'll have to see how it goes gotta edit it and stuff so uh, if it works out I will be doing another one 
see you guys later.